Hello, it's Leontine from Little Lovely Crafts and already I'm back with a new video. This time it's not a card but I'm actually testing a product I bought and I could not find any description on how to use it or a video about it so I decided to try something myself and make a video about it for you guys so that if you buy this product you'll know exactly what to do with it. And here we have the product. It's um, foil transfer medium from Heidi Swap and it's for the Mink Collection. And as you can see on the back there are not any description whatsoever on how to use it. Just that you're supposed to use it with Mink products. But I don't have any of those. I tested it out and it came out actually quite wonderfully. As you can see the foil transferred perfectly onto my pattern, pattern and um, the stencil that I used. I'm going to try it on video again. I placed a piece of black cardstock with some easy dots on my magnetic uh, work surface. And I'm going to use this Starry Sky stencil from Lawn Fun. I'm going to place it exactly in the center of my card. And then I'm using those big magnets to hold it in place. And this is a palette knife that I had for ages. <laughs> I'm going to use it to kind of distribute all of that foil transfer medium onto my stencil. I'm not going to speed it up or anything. I just want you to, to see in real time how I'm transferring this onto my stencil and how I'm working with it. I'm trying to distribute it evenly and um, scrape off whatever I can use for an extra section just so that I don't have to use that much of this medium. I have to say that it's probably best if you crack open a window because this stuff has a really strong smell. kind of taking forever but I'm a perfectionist and I want to make sure that I cover every star and every dot of this stencil with some of that medium. We're almost there, just a little bit more. And there we have it. Trying to scrape back whatever I can into that uh, tube. Okay, now it's time to reveal it and see how I did. <laughs> I'm going to gently peel up the stencil. There we have it. Oh, that's actually quite nice. I'm going to pull it off and I'm going to set that aside to dry. And while it's drying, I'm going to clean everything off because it dries pretty quickly and I'll come back. And there we are again. I try to scrape off that um, um, tape runner um, because I don't want it to stick to my uh, pouch where I'm going to put it in. And this is the machine that I'm using. It's quite cheap actually. It's from a store called Action in the Netherlands. And um, I don't know, it, it does the job. I think you can use a laminator or something. But th this is specifically made for foiling. So I thought I would use it. I'm scraping off some of the bulky medium of the edges. And then I'm going to use this clear pouch that it, it came with the machine. I'm going to put that um, cardstock in it and I've already picked out a foil. It's going to be a nice silver shimmery kind of thing. I thought it would go well with the stars. I'm trying to place it over my entire card and there's a little tear on the side so I'm making sure that my card doesn't uh, go over that tear otherwise it might not catch uh, foil everywhere. Okay, there we have it. Just smoothing it out one last time, checking if everything is in place. And now I'm going to run it through my machine. It's, uh, it has green ready light on, so 
Here we go. It's taking its time, it's going through very slowly. But I guess that's a good thing because that's why it has such great coverage. almost there yes it's done <laughs> okay I'm going to turn off the machine and set it aside because I'm not going to use it anymore and then we're going to open up this pouch and see how the foil transfer process went I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it better and there we go okay let's take it out of the pouch first And now I'm going to peel off that foil. Oh wow, can you see? Every star and every dot has perfect coverage. That is amazing. I'm so happy with it. You could actually use this as well for a card. I guess I kind of like the white side from the back. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, it covered everything and... Um, it was really simple. Look at that sparkle. <laughs> so yeah, that's the foil transfer medium and I'm actually quite happy with it. This was just on plain cardstock, but what if it's a distress inked background like I have right here? And I've already placed my medium on top of the stencil and it's already dry and as you can see it looks quite nice it's almost transparent you can see some of that um, liquid stardust water <laughs> splatter <laughs> pattern through it and I'm going to run it through my machine with some green foil and see how it does There are a few pieces where I don't see any foil, but that's all right. And you can also see all of the scrapings of my palette knife. I guess that's what you get from a bigger stencil like this one, but I don't mind it because it gives sort of a nice texture to the leaves in this case. And that's it for today's video. I'm left with three pretty great backgrounds that I could use for a card. Not sure what to do with them yet, but anyway, I tested my product and I don't have to throw it away because I'm actually quite happy with it. I hope this helped you as well and I wish you a lovely day. See you next time. Bye!